Melissa. In this video, I am going to answer a question that I have been getting a lot. S1, P2, or M1. So the question here is, that, first of all, there's a lot of things to consider. What we are going to look at, though, is taking the exact same file, same size, same processing type, everything, even the same piece of material. This is a three millimeter plot piece of pine. It's Xtool brand. And what we are going to do is we are going to engrave and cut on the same material on all three machines. We're going to time it. We'll look at, you know, the results of this. We are going to then decide for you, which is best. The S1, which is a 40 watt, or there is a 20 watt option. I have the 40 watt diode. The P2, which is a more expensive, but much more powerful CO2 laser, 55 watts. And then I the 10 watt M1, which is considered a craft laser. All of them can engrave, score, and cut wood. However, there are going to be significant differences. Now, the S1 is the is the new machine. It is supposed to basically have new technology that combines uh, a bunch of diode lasers. When I say a bunch, four or five diode lasers giving you the power almost equivalent to um, a P2, which is a CO2, and obviously the CO2 has a much higher price tag on it uh, because of the power and speed of that laser. But does the what the S1 offer actually, is it that close to the P2? So let's see. We will go from there. I am going to uh, take the same piece of wood, the same file. I'm going to cut and engrave on all of them. And we will put them into one video so that you can see them cutting, engraving, processing all at the same time. And then we will take a look. All right, we're going to start in creative space and we'll go from there. Okay, so here is the set of designs that we are going to do. These are going to be engraved and cut keychains. I am going to use this exact same design on all of the machines. Okay, so I am going to click process. And once I click start on the uh, creative space, obviously then I need to click start on the machine. And this is when the uh, time will begin. Okay, so here we have all three of the machines running, not simultaneously, but I did record them and then put them uh, simultaneous so you can see. And I did speed this up about 20 times just to give you um, an idea, but the clock is running at that same rate. So what you can see is they're all running um, almost in succession with the exception of the M1, which ends up falling behind. So the S1 and the P2 are both uh, engraving and cutting almost identical. At eight minutes, the P2 is done, and 45 seconds later, the S1 is done. It is going to take another six minutes for the M1 to finally finish, um, and that just goes because it is a 10-watt diode. So what we see here is that this takes significantly longer um, even though the S1 is also a diode laser, the benefit of having that 40 watt diode is that it puts a combination of smaller diode lasers together and together they almost give you the power equivalent of the P2. And that's why you're seeing the speed be just slightly slower with, between the S1 and the P2. And then the M1 is almost twice as long. What you can see, the end result is almost the same for all of these okay so what you get in the end is nearly identical however if you are crafting and you don't have a time limitation or you know you're really on a budget and you need that small craft size the m1 is perfect for that especially when it comes to wood because it does a really great job this is that three millimeter but if you are looking for production if you are looking for efficiency if you are looking for um, that power and speed at the same time, then you need to decide between the S1 and the P2. I, I will say that in size, they're not a whole lot different if you're looking for footprint. Um, the S1 is slightly smaller, has a small a 19 inch bed as opposed to a 24 inch bed with the P2, uh, but there are other differences. Obviously that 45 second difference um, in speed when it comes to something like this, where it took almost eight minutes for one and 8.45 or 8.48, for the other. However, the bigger difference is in the materials that it's going to be able to cut. So 
while they both cut wood and can engrave wood, the S1 still has that diode laser. And even though it has a bunch of them combined, it's not going to be able to handle uh, transparent acrylics like clear. It's only going to be able to handle some opaque acrylics. So that's going to be a big difference. Same with things like glass and different things like that. So if you're looking for not only speed, efficiency, production size, but if you're looking for an extended um, number of materials, then the P2 is going to be the one that you're going for. If you're looking for, you don't need uh, a whole lot of acrylics, you're looking for speed, efficiency, and affordability, along with a size that is bigger than the M1, then the S1 is actually a really good option. I know there's a lot to think about. I've got a lot of videos on how to use both these, uh, all three of these machines, along with buying guides, uh, comparison charts, all of that um, are in the links below. And of course, if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one help on how to use your laser, how to get started, uh, I offer that through Silhouette U. So don't be uh, discouraged by the name. I have expanded since we started Silhouette U back in 2016 uh, and now support all kinds of lasers and cutting machines and printing printers, different things like that. So you can get a seven-day free trial on Silhouette U. And of course, the link is also below. All right, guys.